Okay, so many of you will be shocked that you're going to get this basic math problem wrong. So without using a calculator, let's see if we can figure out the answer. We have 5 times parentheses 3 plus 24 divided by 2 times 3 in parentheses. And we have a multiple choice question here. So the correct answer is one of the following. So A is 35. B is 195, C is 80, and D is 120. Once again, no calculator, but if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to walk through exactly how to get the right answer step by step without using a calculator. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so one more time, here is the problem. Seems pretty straightforward, and for most people, this seems like a very easy basic math problem. So let's go ahead and take a look at the right answer. Again, here is the problem. The correct answer is not 35. Now, some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, stop playing with my emotions like that because that's exactly what I got. I got 35. Well, 35 is probably the number one most common wrong answer. The correct answer is 195 which of course is B. So congratulations if you got this right. But if you got this wrong, I'm happy you made this error because I want to review something that's very, very important in basic mathematics, which is probably the primary reason that uh, most of you got this uh, wrong, and that is the order of operations. But uh, for those of you that did get the right answer, 195, well, you definitely get a happy face, an A+, plus, a 100%, and a certificate of excellence for your knowledge of the order of operations, or maybe you just got a little lucky. Either way, we're going to review uh, how to do this problem right now. All right, so here is our problem, and really um, this comes down to what do we do first? Now, I'm going to assume that most of you out there can do basic multiplication and division and addition, so that is fantastic. So the main issue here is what do we do first? In other words, do we do addition first and then division and then multiplication? Or maybe we do multiplication and then division, then addition? Because the way we do this problem, in other words, the order in which we uh, approach these uh, respective operations is going to generate different values, okay? And of course, there's only one correct right answer, which means there is one correct order to do this problem. Now, in mathematics, things like addition, division, multiplication, subtraction, uh, these things are called mathematical operators. So we need to review something called the order of operations, i.e., what is the correct operations to do first when we have a math problem with various operations involved. All right, so that brings us to our lovely phrase here, PEMDAS. PEMDAS is an acronym. It's a saying that basically tells us the correct order of operations. This, saying, uh, this little uh, acronym has been around forever. But uh, for those of you that don't know uh, what PEMDAS stands for, I'm going to explain this in just one second. But I want to give you a nice little phrase that you can remember this. That is, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Once again, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I'm not sure what Aunt Sally did, but we thank her for her cool little phrase. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and talk about what PEMDAS is. Again, this is a checklist that we're going to follow from left to right that will tell us the correct order to do this problem. Okay, so let's start with the P. The P stands for parentheses. Okay, now, obviously, if you see a math problem and it has parentheses, that's where we're going to start. But uh, really, P stands for something called grouping symbols. So it could be these parentheses, or it could be brackets like this, or these type of squiggly uh, brackets. So anytime you see a grouping of numbers, okay, we group numbers together by parentheses and brackets, that's where, uh, where we're going to start. Now, if this problem, if we had a set of parentheses like so, okay, uh, the way PEMDAS works is you go to the innermost parentheses and then you kind of work your way out, okay, again. They could be parentheses or brackets, but that is what the P stands for. 
in our PEMDAS. Now, there's um, no rule or no absolute kind of uh, thing that says, oh, all these things need to be, you know, in a math prompt. Sometime you will have a print C, sometime there will be no print C. So basically, you just have to check your checklist. And if you have print C's, you know that's where you're going to be starting. All right, so let's talk about E. So E stands for exponents, but uh, basically you can think of this as powers. So if I have two to the third power, this little three up there is called the exponent part of the power. This two down here is called the base. The entire thing is a power. So uh, E is power. So if you have any powers in your um, uh, you know, math problem, that's what you're going to do next. So you're going to look uh, for any parentheses, and then you're going to look for any powers. Now, of course, if there isn't any exponents or any powers, you're just going to continue to move forward. All right, now this is going to bring me next to one of the most confused things uh, that happens uh, for, uh, uh, well, it's basically contributes to one of the main reasons people get a lot of math problems wrong. Now, here we have this PEMDAS um, saying, and let me go ahead and just tell you what M, D, A, and S stand for before I explain the rest of this. So M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. So you, uh, you're probably saying, all right, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I know what you're going to uh, do next. We're going to do all multiplication, and then after that, we're going to do all division, and then all addition, and all subtraction, because it just makes uh, sense, right? We're going from left to right. Uh, on our little PEMDAS checklist, but that's not the way this works. And this is where people get highly confused. They were like, hey, what are you talking about? Uh, you're just saying this is a checklist from left to right? Well, this is the way PEMDAS actually works. So M and D is actually a group, okay? So you're gonna do a multiplication or division, multiplication or division, whatever you see first from left to right. So if you see multiplication and then division from left to right, you're gonna do it this way. But if you see division, then multiplication, you're going to do the division first. So we couldn't literally have two acronyms here. So we could have PEMDAS or we could have P-E-D-M-A-S uh, or um, uh, the addition and subtraction actually works the same way as multiplication and division. So you can have subtraction or addition. But uh, I think in my experience as a math teacher, uh, not really paying attention to multiplication or division uh, like in a problem like this is where most people are going to make their errors. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you how uh, a lot of you out there that got uh, 35 as the, your answer will kind of review that error. But of course, we're going to do this problem correct, uh, correctly. And the first thing we need to start is parentheses, right? Because we do have parentheses, meaning we need to go inside of those parentheses and do all of this math first. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so here is our problem, and we're going to focus inside of the parentheses. And once we're inside of the parentheses, we still need to kind of continue to review this little PEMDAS checklist, right? So we're like, all right, we have addition, we have division, and we have multiplication. So we certainly know that uh, division and multiplication are going to become before addition, so we're definitely not going to add first. And some of you um, might have uh, said, well, you know, you're comfortable from working, you're comfortable working from left to right, just kind of like how we read a sentence, you know, in English, you're kind of going from left to right. So some people might say, well, three plus 24, that's 27 and go that route. But that's not the way it works, right? We have to examine what's inside of the parentheses. What operations do we have? Well, here we have division and multiplication. So what comes first from left to right? Well, division comes first. So that is where we need to start. So let's go ahead and just focus on one step at a time. And we're going to do the division inside of the parentheses. So we have 24 divided by 2, which, of course, is 12. So we're only taking one step at a time. And a lot of people get in, uh, in trouble in math by taking too many steps at once. Just uh, take one step, write everything nice and neatly, and now let's go ahead and continue. All right, so here we're still inside of the parentheses. We're not done with the parentheses part of uh, PEMDAS. But uh, when we look inside of the parentheses, we have addition and multiplication. Well, multiplication is always going to, uh, uh, you know, come first before addition. So we need to do the multiplication, which, of course, is 12 times 3. 12 times 3 is 36. Okay, so we are making nice progress here. And now we are almost done uh, inside of the parentheses. So 3 plus 36, we have to finish up this addition. Uh, so 3 plus 36 is what? Well, that is going to be 39. 
All right, so we're almost there. So we have 5 times 39, and now we're talking about basic multiplication. So 5 times 39, of course, is 195, which is our right answer. Now, for those of you that did get this right, well, again, I congratulate you on either being lucky that you did the, uh, the division first or you actually understood PEMDAS. So that's fantastic. Okay, so uh, there's a lot of different ways that you could do this problem incorrectly, but I'm going to highlight the most common uh, mistake that probably most people did uh, if they didn't get this right. Uh, but uh, before we do that, let's go ahead and take a quick look at this, and that is an invitation to support this channel. Now, what's this channel about? Well, what I'm trying to do on this particular uh, YouTube channel, and I've thought about creating other uh, math YouTube channels, but uh, pretty much uh, one YouTube channel is enough of a, um, you know, a challenge to grow. I've been on YouTube for, well, I think about 14 years, but I really have been uh, serious on YouTube for like the last four years. Uh, I've been posting videos for many more years, but I am committed to really posting the best content I possibly can to help as many people as I possibly can, but I can't reach those people without having people like yourself support uh, what I do. And the best way to support what I do is to simply hit that subscribe button. And if you're going to do that, hit that notification bell as well. Now, what you'll find on my YouTube channel is an assortment of videos. I think right now I'm about 3,000 plus videos on my channel from basic math to more advanced mathematics. I think if you can go into the search query bar of my channel, you could search various uh, math topics. But if you really want my best work, try, uh, try checking out one of my full main math courses. You'll find links to those in the description of this video. But uh, now let's get back to this problem. Of course, we already saw how to do it the right way, and the answer is 195. But let's suppose we um, have the same problem, and we are pretty good with PEMDAS, and maybe we're like thinking, oh yes, I know there's this thing, PEMDAS, I'm going to kind of just follow that, uh, P-E-M-D-A-S. So I'm going to start with parentheses, so that's good. We're going to start right there. Uh, there is no exponents or powers, so now I'm going to move on to multiplication, right? So this is a very common mistake, very common misunderstanding. So someone would go, all right, 2 times 3, that's going to be 6. That looks pretty good. So we'll just continue to march forward, and the thing here is that everything from this point um, in the problem and below is correct, right? So 24 divided by 6, we'll do that next. That's going to uh, become before addition. So 24 divided by uh, 6 is 4, so 3 plus 4 is what? Well, 3 plus 4 is 7, and 5 times 7 is 35. Now, this answer is obviously wrong, but I want to kind of um, uh, give uh, a lot of you out there that are still math students, okay? This is a really, really big uh, and important kind of tip. So the first thing is when you are uh, practicing mathematics, write out each step. Be clear and logical. Because if I was looking at this work, let's suppose I was grading you on a math test or a quiz, I could say, oh, this is exactly where they went wrong. So all I would have to do is say, hey, uh, you know, be careful on multiplication or division. And I could correct that error because I can pinpoint specifically what you don't understand. Now, when you're not uh, uh, neat and organized and structured in your work, I won't know, you know, you know, basically what you're thinking. So that's why it's really important to show each step. Now, another thing, too, a lot of math teachers, including myself, are not going to necessarily take all the points away on a problem like this because you did a lot of great work. In other words, all this rest of this stuff is correct. Uh, obviously, this is the wrong answer, but you did a lot of great work, so you can get a partial credit for most teachers. So on a problem, let's suppose this is worth 10 out of 10 points. Maybe I would give you like, I don't know, a 6 or 7 out of 10. All right, so hopefully you did not make this mistake, but if you did, I'm glad you made it with me because uh, hopefully you'll never make it again. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.